What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Hill YouTube channel and today we're going to take a look at my weekly purchases. guys so this week's weekly purchases is brought to you by my new book the ultimate wrestling figure checklist as usual if you are unfamiliar with my new book it is a 500 plus page guide to over 40 years of wrestling figure collecting but i'm not even going to talk about it i'm gonna let smart mark sterling ethan page and santana do the talking right now Yes. This is a really cool thing. This, uh, oh! This came out this year, the Ultimate Resident Figure Checklist. They make one every year. I'm not sure how long it's been going, but... It's um, cool that Luchasaurus is on the front. Yeah, so, like, new... This is all new stuff. But this... We talked about this on the podcast because it was a pretty big deal. Let me show you this. Find it. Speed this up in editing. Yeah, I will. Anytime now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wow. They got everybody. Holy crap. Noah. New Japan. Mass Lucha Libre. Holy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Well, no way! It's a, it's a head, for now, it has the ringside figures. Dude, that's so cool. Uh, Where's your name? Where's your name? These aren't even out sure. yet. But they're kind of, this is coming. Is that out. the Bendems? No, this would be. This, this is going to be this Remco style. Yeah, yeah. But they're not out yet. So we have the samples and our brawlers in here. Dude, that's so cool. Here. Yeah, so we have our own little. We have the, the buddies. So next year. Oh, yeah, it's series two. So it's in there. Super 7 figures. Pretty cool. Very cool. In our own section and Congrats. The ultimate wrestling figure checklist. Santana's in here too. And, yeah. Yes, we I mean, know. You know He's, yeah. You know. But you don't need a book to go get his toy at Target. This is true. <laughs> Just walk in, bro. Get your groceries and your Santana figure. All right, so this week I got a bunch of cool stuff in. And first up, we're going to take a look at this. Not wrestling related, but is the Cobra Kai try and get it out with one hand this thing is by diamond select toys ah, struggling there it is now it's one of four thousand pieces this is a comic con exclusive as you can see it's got johnny lawrence and it's a great likeness it's got john Kreese, great likeness um if you're not familiar with diamond select toys They've done Marvel Select, they've done like Kevin Smith movies, Ghostbusters, tons of different stuff. And <coughs> the quality of these figures is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, look at that. But the packaging on this was really the selling point for me. This is a gift for somebody. Um, it says, strike first, strike hard, no mercy. It's got them in front, but watch this when you open it up. If you're familiar with the with the show, there's Cobra Kai and there's Miyagi Do, which is by um, uh, Daniel LaRusso. So you open it up, and it is the Miyagi Do Dojang. It's got Danny LaRusso. How freaking cool is this packaging? This has got to be one of the greatest toy packagings I've ever witnessed, um, the way that it opens up and it's two different karate studios. I absolutely love this, especially somebody who's in the martial arts world. Um, this was a must have, so look at that thing. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful work on their part. Uh, this thing is just absolutely perfect. It says, 30 years after their final confrontation at the 1984 All-Valley All Karate Tournament, Johnny Lawrence is at rock bottom as an unemployed handyman haunted by his wasted life. However, when Johnny rescues a bullied kid, Miguel, from bullies, he is inspired to restart the notorious Cobra Kai Dojo. And you'll notice up here it says, one of 4,000 pieces. Very cool. Very, very cool. <clears throat> 
Um, and we also got a bunch of wrestling stuff as usual. First off, we'll talk about this. I got the AEW trading card sheet. It's got Cody Rhodes, Miro, Dr. Britt Baker. Um, it doesn't say DMD. It's got Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, an info card, Bakaro Shida, Sting, and John Moxley. The stars, like the, the heavy hitters, you know what I mean, are on there. And there's the back. Very excited for these AEW cards. I want to get a hobby box and maybe do like a, a video of me unboxing it. A lot of fun. But yeah, I just wanted to get that. It was pretty cheap. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Still getting over the old sickness. Coughing like crazy. Also got some elites. First up, boom. My Kushida came in, which I'm really happy with. First time in the line, he's in the Marty McFly gear. I love these glasses. I don't know why they don't use these for Bret Hart. I think that they could really work. Um, he's got the cloth goods uh, over uh, undershirt. I guess you'd call that the uh, button down with the interior is polka dotted, which I think is really cool. It's got the vest over, great likeness. He's got the white shorts, white kick pads, knee pads, boots, interchangeable hands. Really cool figure. And it says Kushida from Tokyo, Japan, 192 pounds, five feet, nine inches. The time splitter boasts an array of high flying and submission offense that can't be matched in the past, present, or the future. And also in this set is Roman Reigns, Rey Mysterio, MVP, Riddle, and Trish Stratus. <coughs> and of course, um, it's also got uh, Zodiac. Also picked up from Target.com, I ordered a second Junkyard Dog hoping to get the chase, and sure enough, I got the chase, the blue tights. He's got the chain, interchangeable hands, and the crown. Um, not my, I really honestly prefer the original JYD head, but you know, this will do the job, and I'm happy that I have the chase to go with the standard. And it says, there are few superstars from the rock and wrestling era of WWE more beloved than Junkyard Dog. With incredible power, smooth style, and overflowing charisma, JYD's bite is just as fierce as his bark. He would strut his way to the ring to get the crowd going and then wipe out his opponent with a massive headbutt or thump power slam. Anyone across the ring knew to watch out because Junkyard Dog is coming to grab them cakes. We got Rowdy Roddy Piper, Billy Gunn, and Kevin Nash all on the way, which I'm very excited about, so I guess they'll be coming next week. Um, very, very cool. So. JYD Chase and also picked up this boom series 123 ordered a second Jake Atlas from Amazon got the chase same head scan but he's got the white and honestly let's take this off honestly I think the white is better I don't know why it's the chase because it's got more deco it looks better, it pops better. The other one just looks like he's all in black, you know? So I would definitely go with the uh, white for Jake Atlas. I think it just looks better. And this is the set, as I said, it has Dex Dexter Loomis, Braun Strowman, Bobby Lashley, and Otis. So. And also picked up some micro brawlers. So we'll talk about them, which ones I got. I did the grab bag from uh, our friends over at Pro Wrestling Tees, which if you want to help out the channel, you can, you can go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel and uh, pick up some shirts. So they had a grab bag for micro brawlers. I think they were like five or six bucks each. And uh, since I haven't really gotten the crate, I figured why not? Let's try it out. Um, they have had some good ones. And honestly, I feel like they sent me the ones that I really wanted. So I got a, a grab bag of four micro brawlers. First one up was Adam Bomb, <coughs> which I think is pretty cool because he um, is basically in his Hasbro gear, which I love. So I think that's awesome. Um, they also sent me Iron Sheik. And the reason I love this one was because he was in his LJN gear. So I love this one. These were, I literally wanted these even before they, they sent them, so I was happy with them. Next up was one I wasn't too crazy about. It is Bully Ray, but I mean, I don't hate it. 
And last is one that I really, really wanted, and that is Super Shredder Kevin Nash. I just think that the idea of him in the Super Shredder gear while also in his Nash gear is just awesome. Standard edition, obviously, which I wasn't, I didn't think they were gonna send chases because those were already given out uh, to their subscribers, which uh, makes sense. So people who were trying to get chases, I, I, I knew that wasn't gonna happen, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I was pretty happy with those. And I also got my pre-order from the Major Wrestling Figure podcast of Bob Cardona. Now, I was a big Zack Ryder, Z True Long Island Story fan, and I was a big fan of his dad. I thought his dad had a lot of charm, was a lot of fun, and funny guy, and very likable and lovable, but never did I think that he would get an action figure, so when they put this up, I was like, I have to get Bob. I gotta get Bob Cardona, Zach's dad, as they called him on the show. I have to get it. I, he's just a, a lovable guy, and anybody who knows me as a collector knows that I like obscure wrestling figures and who'd have thought that Bob Cardona would get a figure so had to pick it up very happy that I did he's got the Matt Cardona MC logo he's got the major pod network film finger and the FWF hat so they really got all their logos in there uh, making Bob Cardona look like a real label whore but how awesome is that as a micro brawler so we got some really cool stuff this week guys but that is not the coolest. The real charmer this week is I picked up boom, a one of 500 Series 3 AEW Unrivaled Darby Allen action figure. Now, this is the third time I've bought this figure. I was scammed multiple times. I'm not going to get into it because I don't like to focus on the negatives. It was very, it was, a, it was a long process to get all my money back. Finally got a deal with somebody, the cheapest that I've ever seen one sell for. So I was very happy and uh, not going to discuss all this stuff, but I'm just saying that I'm very happy to finally have this figure because I went through hell to get it. He's got the split face champ all over. His uh, tattoos cut off because of the stitching, which I love. He's got his jacket with the airbrushing, his gloved hands, and he's got the exclusive Darby Allen AEW champ skateboard. It's the one of 500. Very happy with this. It's from Dynamite in Philadelphia, October 16, 2019. There he is fighting Chris Jericho. Very, very happy to have the AEW Unrivaled Series 3 um, Darby Allen. So, yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff this week, guys. Picked up Series 12 Chase, Junkyard Dog, bunch of micro brawlers, Adam Bomb, Iron Sheik, Bully Ray, Kevin Nash in the Shredder gear. The first time in the line, Elite 88, Kushida. Got Series 123 Chase, Jake Atlas. The SDCC exclusive Bob Cardona micro brawler. We got the one of 4,000. Cobra Kai set with Johnny Lawrence, Kreese, and Danny LaRusso. Got the uncut upper deck card set and the one of 500 Darby Allen from Series 3. So I'm a happy guy this week. Um, comment below. Let me know what your favorite get is that I got this week, and I'll let you know my favorite of yours when you tell me what you picked up this week. So hope you guys like this video. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Pick up the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist and the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel and use code um, Fig Heel at checkout on HeroesHideout.com and on Ringside Collectibles to save 10%. So, see you guys soon. Comment below. Keep coming back for more. We got a lot of stuff planned, working on some pretty cool videos, so stay tuned. Later, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500-plus page guide to over 40-plus years of wrestling figure collecting. 
As heard on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, it features WWE, WWF, WCW, ECW, TNA, NJPW, AEW, Ring of Honor, AWA, Dragon Gate, CMLL, AJPW, AAA, and more. Professionally organized so you can keep track of mock, loose, value, and much more. Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at FigHeel. Check out my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel. Head over to Heroes Hideout for all your figure needs and use code FigHeel at checkout to save 10%.